Welcome to the channel, human. A crazy clown stalks and tries to kill three women in a wretched old apartment building on Halloween night. My boy Art the Clown. Art is interesting. I mean, you could tell something wrong with that nigga. Just look at him. You know, maybe he didn't eat his cereal in the morning. Maybe he was made fun of as a child. Or maybe he just woke up on a Tuesday and decided, you know what? Fuck them humans. I'm about to take their asses out. And look, Art, I understand, man. Look, I ain't no fan of humans either. But some of the stuff you do in this movie, I was just thinking to myself, like, hey, hey, that shit was dope, Art. Yep, doop, doop. yep, that shit was dope, Art. So here's the thing, right? Humans, a lot of humans, they have a fear of clowns, like clown phobia, whatever fancy, smancy title they want to put on it. I'm like, how you going to be afraid of clowns? Man, clowns are cool. You know what I'm saying? They're your friend. They entertain you. They make little balloon animals and shit. Sometimes they even have cotton candy. You got to go to them special circuses for that shit. But I'm just saying. So we got these two females, right? And they out there having a good time. Halloween night. Drinking it up. Partying it up. You know, doing what humans do. A lot of them. Then they decide to leave from said location. You know, they kind of a little drunk out their mind and stuff. They think everything's right in the world. And then they see my boy Art, he just out there on the streets and shit. And the blonde female in this movie, right? She's dumb as hell. Like, she see Art and then she like, oh, hey, baby, how you doing? Want to have a good time? And Art is just looking at her like, this bitch is not going to make it to the sequel. So her friend is just like, um, we need to get the hell out of here. Stop talking to him. That that's clearly a psychopath. You trying to get us killed? She like, no, no, it's fine. It's just a clown. Clowns are fun. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I am pretty sure before we get to the credits that this bitch gonna be dead as fuck. But I'm like, at least her friend has some kind of sense. And then over the course of the movie, like Art is just terrorizing these females. And man, he ain't showing no mercy. I mean, sometimes in life you gotta just be creative when you gonna fuck somebody up. On a scale from 1 to 10. 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly as day. And 10 being mind-blowingly amazing. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. This movie has a low budget. Now, you probably think like Terrence, but don't a lot of horror movies have a low budget? Yeah, but this is like low for a horror movie type budget. You know what I'm saying? You could tell they didn't have a lot of money. But it was very creative. Look, the acting in this movie, for the most part, is trash. But the one great thing in this movie is David Howard Thornton as Art the Clown. My boy I got on screen here. He's the best thing in the movie. Without him, you're going to stop watching this shit. And the kills are amazing. Like the best kill in this movie is when he had one of the female characters upside down, right? Titties flapping everywhere. And my boy Art was just smiling and stuff. And then he sawed her from her pussy all the way to her head. Like, that was a brilliant kill. I was just like, hey, 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 you got to be creative in this genre. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't see all kinds of kills and stuff. You're going to really have to turn it up times 12 if you're going to entertain me. So I was like, that's that's cool kill. There's a lot of cool kills in this movie. But for some reason, Art, like, he don't really make no sounds and stuff. Like, even when he gets, like, hit or stabbed or something, he kind of opens his mouth and you see he's in pain. But... He don't like be talking like he don't like yell or nothing. He's just real quiet and he has these mannerisms and gestures that he does. And I'm like, yo, man, art is creative. If you're going to be out there killing motherfuckers, you at least got to turn it into art. You know what I mean? And he see see what I did there. Got to turn it into art. His name is art. But anyway, he has a bunch of cool weapons. I mean, you could tell he's been doing this a long time. He got a whole collection of weapons. He's like, yo. I remember the first time I used this saw, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, okay, no, 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 we ain't gonna do no saw this time. Let me get the hammer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, if you like a squeamish, weak motherfucker, you ain't gonna be able to handle this movie because there's a lot of blood, guts, brain matter, everything you can imagine in this movie. They show you. They want you to be terrified. They want you to run out the room screaming like a bitch. You know what I mean? But with me, I just had the feet kicked up with the popcorn. Like, yo, can we get some more kills, please? Like, <laughs> can we get some more kills? I was on art side because the other actors and actresses in the movie, they was trash. Like, I just didn't care about them. But when art came on the screen, I was like, this dude is talented.
I mean, I believe that he's this character. That's how good of a like an actor that uh, David Howard Thornton is. Man, he just killed it. Man, con congratulations, man. You you a terrifying motherfucker. Like them characters should have knew better than to be anywhere in the general vicinity. But I don't know. It's just something about this clown. Like, so if you are afraid of clowns, this shit ain't gonna help. You ain't gonna be able to sleep for the next maybe two some odd months. But if you like horror movies. And you want to see some cool kills and an awesome clown. I recommend you check this shit out. I wonder if I got any clown makeup in my closet. I used to. But I was like four some odd years ago. I used to paint my face back in the day. It just felt right on a Tuesday. But, you know, I, I feel like whenever you paint your face, you just have a different perspective in the world. Maybe that's why art went insane. Like he started painting his face and then that just gave him some type of demonic sense of justice nah it ain't, it ain't no justice I'm, I'm just playing you, you ain't you ain't no justice you out there killing humans and shit hey you watching them scream the blood coming out hey it looked like art was having a good time because he was having a good time i was having a good time watching him terrence out